Hi, I'm Joe Rogers. I'm one of the librarians here. There have recently been some crazy rumors that our library is haunted. So in this video, I'm going to disprove those rumors. So I'm going to give you a tour of the library now. Uh, this is the library circulation desk. This is where people check out books and return books. And as you can see, it's a completely ordinary circulation desk, nothing unusual at all. So uh, let's look over here and then we'll check out some other parts of the library. Okay, and over here is the, uh, here's the reference desk where we'll, we help students with their research. And as you can see, perfectly ordinary. I don't know how these rumors get started about being haunted. St. Louis does have a rich supernatural history. The uh, original story for The Exorcist occurred in St. Louis. Um, and it was a boy rather than a girl. And some St. Louis Jesuits successfully performed The Exorcism here in St. Louis. And we do have some other uh, places with supernatural backgrounds like the Lemp Mansion. But I can assure you that our library is perfectly ordinary. And this is our periodical section where we have newspapers and magazines and journals. In fact, here comes a student. He looks like he's going to be doing some research in the periodicals now. Well, let's check over here. Okay, here's our seminar room, and it looks like they had a luncheon in there today. Okay, let's continue down the hall to the anatomy and physiology lab. The anatomy and physiology lab. It's also called the AMP lab or the bone room. As you can see we do have some skeletons in here, some models, and uh, this room has been very helpful to our students. Okay, let's head on down the hallway and then check out Okay, well over here are some of our new books and bestsellers. The, um, we have a lot of great books here. This is a book uh, by G.K. Chesterton. He's uh, an excellent British author. He wrote the Father Brown Mysteries and a lot of other great fiction and nonfiction. The, uh, and here's a book about C.S. Lewis uh, who wrote the Chronicles of Narnia and a space trilogy, and a lot of uh, nonfiction as well as his fiction. And then a good friend of C.S. Lewis was J.R.R. Tolkien, who wrote The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. 
and some other books like The Cimmerillion. And Tolkien and Lewis were good friends along with Charles Williams, and they had a literary group called The Inklings. Okay, well let's see, why don't we take a look over here at these books. Uh, children's books. We have uh, books for children from preschool right up through eighth grade, both fiction and nonfiction. So we have uh, Dr. Seuss and a lot of other excellent books here. Oh, some child left her doll. I'll put that in the lost and found when we finish our tour. Thanks for coming for the library tour today, and I hope you'll come back soon. As you can see, there aren't any ghosts or goblins or things that go bump in the night here, so um, there's nothing to fear. So if you're not in the St. Louis area, I'd encourage you to visit your nearest public library or uh, community college library. Okay, thanks again for watching the video. Thank you.